But we say in uh, in, Jap in Japan, nabe, uh, kimchi nabe. Uh, but I'm sure in Korea there's many different kinds of nabe. Um, tonight what we're doing kimchi nabe. And it's very simple. So first we're going to start off with uh, what we have right here. This is hondashi. Um, we're making the stock right now. So I'm using one tablespoon to get the flavor. You can also use bonito flakes if you have that. Depends on what you have. There we go. So I'm just making the broth. Um, of course, if you if you're in America and you don't like the fish flavor, you can have uh, you can use just chicken stock broth as well. Um, or if you really don't have anything, you can even just use nice. Or we're using a, a Korean ramen noodle as a stock. Now, if you don't have a, a package like this, you can always add uh, some miso or soy sauce at the end at the end for flavor always add miso at the very end if you're going to add that um or if you want to do more korean style you can have uh kochujan and but add this at the end and this is very spicy kochujan so only add a little bit um and you can always you can always add more you, can, you can't take it away so once we uh have the stock made then we're going to add big cut vegetables we got daikons here. Those are always good. Now this is uh, Japanese uh, negi. We're putting the uh, hard vegetables first. There we go. Some carrots. Try not to splash too much. Now these softer vegetables will add more at the end. And then next we we're gonna let that cook a little bit. So we're gonna, but next we would add the tofu and after that, once that cooks for a little bit, then we add in some fresh shiitake mushrooms. Of course you can add uh, dried shiitake mushrooms if you don't have it. We have um, some uh, shimeji mushrooms and some enoki mushrooms there, for, or any kind of mushrooms that you want, that's fine. And then after that, once it's finished cooking, the, at the very end, then you would add, we're gonna add a whole package of kimchi into that. Um, or if, if we do that for flavor, if we wanna add more, we can add more. And then of course, pork, we have thinly sliced pork here. Um, if you don't have that, you can do little sausages, pork, any pork sausages, go, pork, uh, goes, pork goes very well with uh, nabe. And of course, the bean sprouts here, that, they're very soft, they go at the very end. And then, and then you always uh, adjust the flavor as you like. You can use regular miso, uh, soy sauce, if you want to make it a little bit uh, richer flavor. And, or you can also use the uh, kochujan. Or, and, and if you don't like those kind of Asian flavors, you can always just use uh, just regular chicken stock that you get at the, bra at the store. And, and, but then, or, and if you don't like kimchi, then you can do any kind of uh, ingredients that you want, but that's how it is. And then you, you, the way that we eat it is everyone has their own little bowl. We take out of the, the pot, put it into there. And then if you want some soup, we have a little soup spoon. We put into our bowl and then we eat it from our bowl. So we're not eating directly out of the pot. We have our own separate bowls that we eat from. And then at the very end, some people like to make zosui, which is we take rice and put that into the pot. Or if you want, you can add some, some ramen noodles, throw that in there with, with the broth that's all cooked down. So it has all those nice flavors that have been cooking in that soup. And we add the, uh, the noodles into there. And what's that? Egg. Oh, don't forget the egg. Yes. So when you make uh, zosui, uh, add crack an egg in there when you mix it around and in with the rice or the noodles and you have like a stir-fried egg rice and that is delicious and I think now it's about time for me to add the tofu all right well I'm gonna get on cooking my dinner and I hope you guys enjoy your Hot pot. Nabe, nabe, nabe. Come on. Yes. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Good luck. Bye-bye.
Add a little bit of egg into the noodles. Stir it around, all that nice broth from all the veggies that you've been cooking in there. Delicious. Of course, you don't need noodles. You can do uh, rice instead. It's all nice and yummy. Enjoy. Enjoy.